Welcome, welcome. So now we're going to be playing some mono black aggro budget. Um, so this deck here, similar to the mono red Calvacade of Calamity deck, um, we're playing some budget decks while War of the Spark standard is kind of moving into that part of the summer where we're waiting for the next installment. Uh, also, just something aggressive to go against all these super friend decks. You can ignore them and just try to kill them quick. Uh, so this deck in particular is all commons and uncommons so it's very cheap to build you probably have it from like draft stuff like extras that you can put together but basically what we're looking for is a form of early pressure with disruption so the deck itself we have four three different one drops we play so we have uh, some dire graph ghouls uh, enter with battlefield tapped but it's a 2-2 two -two. Uh, grasping scoundrels when it attacks it becomes a 2-1 and that's basically just extra copies of Vicious Conquistador. When it attacks, your opponent loses one life. I wanted to diversify our threats to not all have one toughness, so we don't auto lose to Goblin Chain Whirler. Uh, we have like a discard package in Duress main board, Burglar Rat, uh, Kite Sail Freebooter is a pseudo Duress, and then Davriel. Uh, so that can get rid of cards from our opponent's hand. Uh, we have Knight of Malice, which gets around a lot of the white-based removal. Teferi can't bounce it, and it's pretty strong with it being first strike. Uh, then we have Cast Down as removal and Playcrafter. Also can catch Planeswalkers, and in a pinch can also force your opponent to discard. And then four Sovereign Bites, which is basically a, a Lightning Helix within Mono Black. Uh, the la mana base is basically just Swamps, and then two Memorial Follies if the game goes long to buy back some threats. You can recast your play crafters. So we'll try this out, see how it goes. So we're live on Twitch right now. Thanks for those tuning in live. Uh, if you miss anything from our live streams, you can always tune in on YouTube at MTG underscore Joe. Uh, we play everything from budget brews to tier one lists and everything in between. I frequently write um, on the arena subreddit. We do budget build series where we go from lists like this that are all commons and uncommons and build them towards tiered lists as close as possible. Uh, so this looks like it is a green ramp deck. I'll probably wait a turn uh, to duress. Uh, let's just play Dusk Legion Zealot. Okay, so we have Knight, so next turn we can Knight of Malice and play duress. Venturous Impulse. Lanawar Elf, so this duress might not be as good in this matchup. So let's see what the opponent's working with here. Okay, their hand's pretty garbage. Here I just want to force damage. They can take the block here. Mono green can go a lot bigger than us, so it's in our best interest to just try to go quick against them. So, a little unfortunate to hit the Vivian there. You can still walk away. Um, here. I think we just go after Vivian. They could flash in an elf to block. Let's do this again. This could only hit your opponents, so we'll do that. If we don't get any action, then I'm just gonna cast cash in this folly. Okay, burglar rat's pretty good there. So we'll hold back. Alright, just, just do this. They can take the block there. So they're just throwing away the elves here. Opponent will probably discard the forest. So we'll just throw that down. So the opponent's drawn nothing but elves in this game. I think that's all four, not three. Just 
Attacking with Night of Malice. So you'll basically take our turn, so we'll just wait. I want to just get back to us Legion Zealot to cycle. Uh, Arboreal Grazer is actually pretty good right now. It's going to block our board. So we might need to tweak this list a bit. Play the Death Touch creatures instead with Afterlife. So let's see what we draw here. If we can draw into a removal spell. Perfect. We get the cast down. So get rid of that so they don't get the value if they want. They can trade their elf, but we take them off mana. And we can keep poking in. Force them to discard first. Oh, and Razor. So they're going big in this deck. gonna hold off on the Sovereign's Bite right now since it could screw up their math. Druid of the Cow is a pretty good draw. It lets them trade with these. Throw out another rat. Um, I think we just keep poking in. turn. Yeah, I think we need the afterlife. Nisa comes down. They have tons of ramp now. And we can't get around the forests. Yeah, I think we're dead now. Yeah. Okay, so let's make some tweaks to this deck. I just threw this together quickly, so probably want some upgrades. So, fungal infections not too bad. Exile target colorless. So we got the death touchers, which might be more useful than the scoundrels. This also having flying might just be straight up better. Cut down a couple of those, because flying at least can go over the top. Um, just get rid of Conquistador. You're a 1-1. One, one. I want a density of the 1 toughness though. And there's the afterlife guy, this guy. Play a couple of those. Probably shave down a couple lands. Our curve's really low. Uh, cut down... Yeah, I think we're probably or cut down one of these, play one of these. Good density of one drops, good density of two drops. Go from there. We'll try this version out. This one might not be as good as the mono red cavalcade. Just having reach in the form of red haste and uh, cavalcade to push through points of damage, even when our creatures die. So this hand's pretty good. We'll lead on a bat. Okay, opponent might be on the aggro plan or on zombies. We shall see. So if the game goes long, this can also just serve as like burn damage. So opponent will take our Davriel. No blocks here. Probably just 
just go Knight of Malice. Seems like the the best for blocking purposes. Next turn, Zealot in Duress. So they have the cast down. So we're actually drawing quite a few lands. Their hands all creatures, so. Come on. Probably lost this one. Between Menace and the Two Toughness. Get rid of the Swamp here. Mm. No blocks. Okay, so it's not bad. We got ghoul. Hit him for one, and then this might help swing the race for a bit. We can uh, memorial back our Knight of Malice from Dreadhorde Invasion. That might impact them in the long game. Another Knight's good. So we'll get in damage now. It's funny that we're actually playing kind of the mirror in this case. Did kind of go off this turn. Uh, I'm going to hold this land and we'll just play defense. We can double block one of these. Second Dread Horde, like they can make big things. But they're going to be taking damage. Um, you know what, I might go just Dusk Legion Zealot. Because it can help us draw closer to some more creatures. Okay, double zealots, not too bad. We do take some damage, but they basically cycle. And then we have Davriel to follow up next turn. Ooh, those are really good against the zombies. Past turn. So this blocks our zombie friend and this makes it so they lose a bunch of life. Is it six or seven? Okay, so they'll gain six life on the attack if they choose. Hopefully the last card in hand is not a duress. So they use the dis the spark harvest there. So we're just gonna block there. They'll gain six. Be back one sec. Just gotta open the door for the dog. Okay. So here. Just play out the Davriel past turn. They take four damage. So it's some nice pressure it's going to put on our opponent. They're kind of stuck because they're forced to 
attack in. Otherwise, Davriel kills them. So, opponent gives us the good game. We'll just block there. Yeah, they're dead. Any way you slice it, they're basically dead. So we'll run it back for one more. Let me know in the comments too on the YouTube video if there's any other budget decks you'd like to see. We had the uh, Simic Mill from a while ago. Um, this hand, we'll try it out. Let's see how we do on a one lander. That's an elf. That's an elf. Let's see what the opponent's working with. Uh, okay, so they are going to ramp into oozes. So let's get rid of you, because you're terrifying. I wouldn't mind a land to try to cut them off another elf. Ah, so they're going to hit it anyways, Nisa's Triumph. They have their lands. So they're dropping Biogenic Oozes next turn, and we are terrified. So this is all in kind of ramp into Biogenic Ooze. Cast down? No. Okay, well. Let's try to poke in some damage. At this point, the best we can do is try to race them. With them having out the uses. I think we want more cast downs in this deck. This board's nuts. Um, let's play out Kite Sail, get the Vivian. See how they decide to attack in this turn. Hey, TK Wigs kid, yeah, um, they went turn four ooze, turn five ooze, and we've been stuck on the two lands we started with. This Plague Crafter had a chance to catch something. Gonna take nine here. Okay, so we got that. Plague Crafter doesn't do too much right here. I think we have to go Sovereign's Bite plan. I think we're dead regardless. Yeah, we only have one blocker for seven. They hit us for a ton. Yeah. When you're playing all commons and uncommons and they hard ramp into uh, some big ones, maybe we switch up, add one more cast down. Uh, I li I've liked these. The Conquistadors have felt really bad. So let's just go up another Blight Keeper, go up another Cast Down. Run it like that. Alrighty. Hopefully our opponent's not hard ramping. Played a lot of uh, Nisa decks today. Seems to be one of the more popular. Play out your forest ramp. Still wanted to try to make a Banefire deck with her work. We tried early on, but it wasn't that, that great. Okay, so this hand's pretty good. You got your one drop. 
You gotta redraw, and then we can disrupt their hand or kill their board. So let's just cycle here. So next turn, depending on how aggressive we want to get. Uh, let's just start getting him to discard. Kind of get an idea what our opponent's on. So they also have Davriel. Force him to make a decision. Okay, so they got they're missing colors here. Let's go. Sell it. Um, and I'll just go Enforcer. Hold this off for now. The reason being, we they might have a board wipe. Okay, so opponent just concedes. So they were missing green. Obviously hurts their ability to play. Alright. So let's crack our pack for the week. See what we get. Soul Diviner. Eh, not bad. I think it's a little too slow. Run it back for one more. And then we go get some lunch. How's everyone's weekend going? So we just played a mono red uh, goblin cavalcade of calamity deck that'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, we posted a blue-red wizard's budget deck uh, that's up already on the channel. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep this. Basically have two redraws that happen to be stapled to 1-1 one -one creatures. This has been much better than the conquistadors. Oh, I like burglar rat. Make them make a decision. So here, this looks like another straight ramp deck. Let's see if we draw into land. Would have been nice to hit. Okay. If we had hit a land earlier, we could have uh, played Crafted away their Llanowar Elf, taking them off the mana. Wilderness Reclamation Llanowar Elves. Don't quite know what you're on, sir, but I'm interested. I think here we just take them off the mana. Mono Green's not really playing much at instant speed, so not sure what they're going to be getting off the Wilderness Wreck. Okay, you have eight mana. You going to do anything with it? No. Cool. This is what I like about these decks. They're just really aggressive. So you just... Like, you'll know if you win or lose by, like, turn three. There, the opponent was dirtling, did nothing. They had eight mana. Effectively 12 mana, really. But you can have mana in, ha in your pool, cards in your hand. But if your life's zero, don't matter. That one was quick, so we'll run it back one more. Let's keep this... So I usually like leading with a threat before playing a duress, that way you have pressure. Discard without pressure doesn't do much. Font of Agonies. Whenever you pay life, put that, remove four counters, destroy target creature. Um, 
Let's go Knight of Malice. Usually these play black white and they play like Odonto Vanguard. Diamond Mare. Okay. Let's see what the opponent's on. So they have Cast Down, Dreadhorde Invasion. Whenever you pay life. That's a lose effect. So they have Cast Down, Cast Down. So I think we just take the cast downs. And I'm probably just going to duress and take cast down again. I actually don't care if they get Dreadhorde Invasion. Or maybe Dreadhorde was right. They're going to get bigger than we are and we don't have removal for the zombies. That might have been wrong. Okay, we have Freebooter. So, may have... So, we can try this to try to draw land, but I think we just kite sail to be safe. It's also a flyer, which is relevant. I will. We can start hitting in the air. Okay, cast down will become good in the... Actually, let's just do this now. Force them to block and they stop scanning them life. So, two toughness with their zombie. Disruption and pressure. That's the way to win. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up. Go have some lunch. Uh, thanks for those who tuned in live. Uh, if you missed any part of it, it is on YouTube. Uh, it will be up later this week after I do some edits. Um, if you're watching live on Twitch, make sure to drop a follow. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, make sure to subscribe. Catch all the videos up there. Have a great weekend, everyone, and a great start to the week. Thanks for watching. Adios.